There's always a special relationship between a pitcher and a catcher, but for Ralph Garza and Anthony Hermelin, there's a special bond that goes beyond the playing field. The two played together at the University of Oklahoma and were pleasantly surprised to both be drafted by the Houston Astros in 2015. We roomed together in spring training, we roomed together here, um, we roomed together on the road. Um, we've known each other for since before college. Uh, not that excited, I mean I didn't like it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, actually pretty excited, not many people can actually get drafted and play on the same team uh, as the guys you did in college. Having a, a catcher, the next the, the other parts of the battery, you know, is just even better. It, it's just like a home away from home, just being able to have that comfort level with somebody with you. Having that comfort level allows the two of them to be honest with each other. When Garza doesn't have his normal command, Hermelin doesn't hold anything back. I mean, he's pretty blunt. If like my stuff's not usually what it is, he tells me straight up. He's not. He doesn't beat around the bush, so it's good to have that. As the catcher, Hermelin says he enjoys being able to pick Garza's brain. He says it's a luxury that's helped him transition from college to professional baseball. Just being able to talk to him, being in a different position than I am, being a pitcher, uh, you know, you could definitely just look for him and ask questions and try kind of get insight in how a pitcher thinks about certain situations. In between the white lines, this longtime friendship has helped the battery read hitters the same way, meaning Garza rarely has to shake Hermelin off. Yeah, in certain situations, you kind of know what I kind of know what Ralph's thinking, and we kind of think along the same page in certain situations. Kind of read the hitters and go what we're, what we're feeling that day. Since entering the Astros organization, Hermelin and Garza have played every level together to this point, starting in Tri Cities last season before being placed in Quad Cities this year. And if that continues, they could find themselves playing catch on the game's biggest stage, Minute Maid Park. For RiverBandits.com, I'm Taylor Smith.